what's up guys it is i new tarot i am the energy and intuitive retail the sun is in my face <laughs> and i'm here to do the general readings for somebody so on my channel i do allow the universe to decide who gets a reading so let's see who needs one this this glare might be here the sun is going down so uh it's like all of my stuff but i love it i love it leo Leo. Leo, I just did um your Snapchat video. Great, great energy. Like I was like, oh my god, this is great. <laughs> if you want to go check that out, my um I'll leave my Snapchat in the description box for you guys. Um <clears throat> okay, Leo. So this message can resonate with you if you have Leo as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Thanks so much for being here, my beautiful Leos. Also, it's going to also resonate with you if you have, if you're talking to a Leo, okay, it's just going to be reversed. So, Leo, I'm going to pull some monology cards to see the energy that's in with you right now. Then we're going to do the tarot and then some advice at the end, okay? Leo, spirit, Leo, what do you have to know at this moment, Leo? Leo, thank you. Okay, what else for Leo? We just had a full moon, okay? So yeah i knew <laughs> that's that's why they told me um <clears throat> bottom of the deck is your dream being a practical plan okay so i feel like we just had a full moon in libra libra um so full moons are all about releasing leo um make sure that whatever you know that you need to release it was really emphasized the the full moon happened um saturday okay um but we're gonna be feeling it i think today's the last day that we're gonna be feeling it okay um but you might have started feeling it since that friday All, like this whole weekend is major changes had to happen or you felt like you needed to make a major change all right just make sure that you're not allowing your ego to get to you and not making the changes that you need to make okay some of these changes no i'm not gonna say some all of the changes are very difficult okay um i went through some stuff you know releasing and stuff so it was very tough energy it's something it's not easy it's not like something that you could just be like oh yeah that's fine i'll i'll, I'll let that go mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay um all right if we need to cry cry if we need to shout shout get all those energies out but there's definitely you know anyways let me just talk so first card you have is don't let pride get in the way that's why i said that okay um because i saw that and this also says full moon and leo okay <clears throat> so there's something here that you guys are being stubborn about leo mm -hmm. we're gonna see what that is temperance it could be healing or getting over something we're gonna see then you have adjustments are required okay so there's something that requires adjustment i think it's I think this is more like you and your emotions, but we're going to clarify. And then you have your dreams and a practical plan. So I feel like a lot of you guys have a certain dream that has so much money and luxury in it, but it's like you don't have any steps as to how you're going to get there. You might have an idea, but this is this, this is in the back of the deck. So it's like it's not really like it's not something that's like forthcoming, like, oh, yeah, it's all up in my face. But you do think about it and you do want certain things. And the spirit is saying like, okay, emotions are running high. Okay, yeah, so you guys are emotional. I knew it because I saw somebody like bawling, crying. Um, and that's just, it's, that's fine. You know, that needs to happen. But um, make sure that what you want in life is not based off of money or status. Make sure it's based off of you wanting something because it makes you feel good. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way, spirit. Not, not Nothing materialistic-wise. You have the four of wands here, okay? So this is talking about a marriage and commitment. Two of pentacles, knight of cups, the hierophant. Two of pentacles is in reverse. There's no balance right now in your marriage or commitment right now with someone. There's no balance. Things aren't... Okay, you have the hierophant, the knight, of, the knight of cups here. I feel like somebody might be trying to offer you something here, but it's like it's not... Ugh. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. 
it's like it's not stable what they're trying to what they're trying to offer you because it's not what they're offering you isn't stable it's the energy that isn't stable so it's like it's not gonna stick it's like if you have a if you have a super super sticky tape and you try to take tape it on the surface that is like what it's not gonna stick right that's what i feel queen of cups the king of cups and the death card why are you guys so cold right now what's going on a lot of you guys are not showing any emotion to this to this energy you're like you're not showing no love like your emotions are cut off from this the death card is here. that needs to end you need to open up here and speak up leo as well as your ego is trying to your ego is trying to overdo your heart right now your ego is trying to talk over your heart your heart is telling you hey heal right you need to be one with your emotions. Leave this up to the universe with the king of cups and the king of cups. This is also a true pair situation. So whoever you're with right now, you guys are meant to be like, look at them. The queen and the king. Like, hello. Hello. You guys are meant to be together. You are. But things are unbalanced right now. You guys are testing each other. You guys are poking each other right now. Okay. Um. So... Mm. Let go of this ego. Like you got the ego here twice. Let go of this ego. Let me let me see something. Let me see something. Why are things unbalanced here? One second. You have the lovers and the strength card. Okay, so things are unbalanced right now because there's no. First of all, no one's confident. Either you aren't confident and the Leo, you pulled your own card. Eight of Pentacles. No one's putting any work into this. Okay? No one's putting any work. Everybody's just people. Someone is trapped in their mind. Okay? And no one feels confident. Like, they, like, the, like I feel like there's passion there, but it's like the confidence part. Like, nobody feels confident that, the, that this is going to last is what I feel. Or that this connection is going to uphold what you guys both really want. But I do see here somebody wanting to, wanting to, you know, give you their cup here. With the Hierophant, this is somebody who you're going to be with, with a while, for a while. Or you have been with for a while. You guys have the same morals, the same values. You guys see things the same. It's just that right now, you're not. Okay? And I think it's because of your pride. You're allowing your ego to get into into your heart space or you're you're um you're not seeing things from a loving point of view you're more seeing things from a self point of view like a ego point right the ego only cares about the self the ego only cares about what's more convenient for itself right sometimes you have to put yourself in other people's shoes leo for you to understand and see it their way adjustments are required spirit can you clarify adjustments Thank you, Knight of Wands. I feel like I feel like your passions need to be like what you're passionate about, what you really want, what really lights you up, needs to be adjusted. Temperance, the Four of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys, I heard, don't know what you want. Okay, a lot of you guys might not know what you want here when it comes to a collaboration, a family dynamic. It's like some of you guys might want it one day, and the other day you're like, ah, I don't really want it, okay? The Four of Swords and the Temperance. A lot of you guys are in your head. You're overthinking a lot, okay? You need to balance out some energies. You need to heal as well things from the past. Maybe the Strength card in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're not putting any work into yourself right now. You're not giving anybody your energy, right? Like, much of your energy. You're, like, very secluded right now strength card you're not confident right now that's why you're not giving out your energy because if you're not confident you ain't gonna give it out right um all right let's see what your but your work life is doing good <laughs> i'm sorry leo i don't mean to laugh but because i'm like your snapchat your snapchat was not feeling like this but your snapchat was more about your career it wasn't about this looks like it's talking about love all right, Spirit Leo, what's going on? Yeah. You're doubting something. Come on, Leo. One more card. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you don't have to be. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. 
I know about glare. I know about glare. All right. So, I mean, I see you're forgiving yourself. That's really, really good. That's really good. Because I feel like a lot of you guys know that, you know, you had some point to doing this. It takes two to tango, Leo. I'm not saying that the other party doesn't have anything to do at all. But, you know, it takes two to tango, one and two. You know, there has to be some compromising here, okay? There has to be some meeting in the middle. All right. First card you have is a strength card, okay? So this came out in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just doubting yourself. You have low self-esteem right now. You're not confident in yourself. That's your card as well. So you're not feeling too hot about yourself here, okay? You have the fool, but I think like what I just heard is somebody else is making, it's like you're allowing someone to make you feel like this, right? Whether it's they're not giving you their time, they're not giving you their attention, their affection, whatever. Because this isn't coming from you, I don't think. You have the fool here in reverse. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys are holding back. I said that before. I said that earlier. Um, it's, like a, it's like a lack of direction. You don't know which way to move. Um, you're afraid to start a new path, to take a new leap of faith here. Okay? Then you have the two of wands here. You, a lot of you guys have some choices to make, Okay? You're choosing a path. You're trying to... A lot of you guys are like, should I stay? Should I go? Like, you're like, what should I do here? Um, We're going to see what's going on. Okay. Strength card so I can clarify. Ace of Wands. I feel like a lot of you guys... I like this. I feel like there's something that's going to that's going to come into your space. um, Like a... Like a like a hobby, uh, a passionate um, endeavor is going to come into your space here that's going to, excuse me, it's going to lift you up here with the Ace of Wands. I do see, I, I, I feel that. Magician at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you guys could have been asking for this, okay? You have the Four of, you have the four of Cups here. A lot of you guys, <sighs> it's like a lot of you guys know what this is. Four of Cups in reverse is like you seeing things clearly. Eight of Cups in reverse, you're no longer walking away. Three of Cups in three of Cups, three of Wands in reverse. It's like you know which way to go. You're not looking for anything anymore. So I feel like a lot of you guys, yeah, something is gonna come and it's going to like ignite. It's gonna like ignite a, a spark in you, and you're gonna be like, oh my god, this is great. I love that. Da, 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 da. And you're gonna just you're gonna start feeling yourself again. You will. Okay. Page of Swords, a strength card, in, in in the upright position. Um, I feel like you're gonna find something out or learn something here. Um, more about yourself is what I feel. Okay. I think this is like all self realization is what I feel. But a lot of you it is a hobby that is going to like open you up or something that you're really passionate about is going to bring back that confidence in you okay the full reverse you have the nine of wands okay yeah i mean a lot of you guys are doubtful that um you could take a new leap of faith here you're really doubtful that um something that something could work here the star the lovers <laughs> let me tell you leo you're full of you're full of doo doo you're full of it. You're full of it. You have the star card, the lover's card, the eight of swords in reverse. Like, you're still hopeful. <laughs> There's still hope here. There's still hope here. The connection is here. You're still passionate about it. The eight of swords in reverse. You no longer feel trapped about it. So you're lying. Okay, let me not say that. Not that you're lying. You're putting up a front. You're putting up a front. Okay, you're putting up a front, and I bet you you're doing this because the other party is acting like they don't care. So you're like, okay, well, if you don't care, then I don't care. But you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're you're in the outside. You're showing like, I don't even know if I want this. Uh huh. But inside, you're like, oh, please, please work out, please, please. Work out. Leo, Leo, you guys are a joke. You guys are, that's why they're saying don't allow your pride to get in the way because your, your ego is telling you to act this way. But how about you act how you feel? Okay, now, if you were doing that and this energy was kind of like giving you like breadcrumbs and not really giving you the same, then just, then just, um, whatchamacallit, 
just remove your energy but don't act like you don't care when you do don't that's some, that, that's you sending the wrong message to the universe and that is going to come back to you in a bad way so stop it only good intentions and pure intentions only all right so if you feel if you want something to happen or whatever you don't have to say it you don't even have to show it but don't act like you don't want it to right you could remove yourself right let me just say this is a, a marriage or a commitment that you're in with somebody right and it's like you 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 want this person to see that you really um you know you want this person to see how serious you are or you want them to really see how much you want them to change or whatever the case is then you you remove your energy remove it right don't really speak to them only speak to them when it's needed don't do anything malicious don't be petty okay these are all things that the universe wants us to see because they want they want to see right when things are happening how are you going to react don't be all up in your ego and be like hmm. no 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 Remove your energy and focus on you. Go to you, boo. Go to the gym. Go take a walk. Go out with your friend. Go out with your sister, your brother, your mother, whatever. Act like they're not a priority in your life right now. Because if they're not going to make you, then you're, then you're not going to make them, correct? But don't act like you don't care. Don't act like you don't want to move forward. Because that is misguiding. And then shit is going to hit the fan, <laughs> okay? Because the universe doesn't like when... That's basically you lying, right? Because the universe knows how you feel, but the energy you're giving out is completely different than what you feel inside. And that's basically like lying, so don't do that, all right? <laughs> the Two of Wands, spirit. can you clarify the Two of Wands? Why is the Two of Wands here? The Two of Cups, okay? Yeah, a lot of you guys are trying to make a decision on this on this love. The Hanged Man, the Seven of, seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is lying. I told you. I told you. Seven of Wands. Page of Wands. I love you guys. Okay, Leo. Yeah, one of you guys are like one of the ones that I love so much. Okay, so don't ow. And my Mars is in Leo, so I'm very aggressive, just like you guys are. But don't take what I'm saying like bad, okay? I'm also a fire sign. I'm an Aries, okay, sign. I'm an Aries sun. Um, so don't take it like bad. I'm just telling you guys what I'm seeing, okay? And I and I tell you how it is. Uh, the Hanged Man, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Wands here. A lot of you guys, your your connection, your relationship is at a, is at a standstill. Is that? It's not moving. Nothing is happening. Okay. They also want you to change the way you're looking at it. All right, because I feel like you're looking at something like, oh, they're trying to attack me. Oh, they're trying to come at me. Oh, blah, 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 blah. They're not really looking at the things that I do, blah, 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 blah. But there's a need for you to change your perspective on, on how you're looking at it. I just heard going through things. So maybe this person is going through their own internal stuff, right? Not to be mean, Leo, but it's not all about you. Like, to be honest, I had to learn that the hard way. It's not all about me not all about you sometimes people are going through their own things now 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 there comes it does come a uh uh you know a point where it's like okay people are going through their own things but when they're going through their own things it shouldn't affect you now if it is affecting you this is where boundaries come in right and you have to put up those walls you gotta put it up and be like okay you stay over there and i'm stay over here give each other space right now maybe you guys just need space nine of cups is here okay this person still makes you happy. You guys are both still content here, but you guys are just not showing any emotion right now. Love yourself right now, okay? Love yourself right now, Leo. Don't, but don't be petty. You're not going to help the situation by being petty. You're not going to get anywhere with you being petty and you acting like you don't care when you do, okay? Things are at a pause, at a standstill for a reason. Because the universe wants you guys to both take this time to really think about what you want in this relationship. How to make this work on both sides. And I think this pause was for this other person as well as for you to get out of your ego. To know that you working out of an ego mindset isn't going to get you what you want. It's very difficult to come out of the ego mindset because it feels so comfortable there. You're just like, oh, this is easy. I know what to do. I know how to navigate. But when you're not in your ego point, it's like you have to it's like it's like you're looking for foreign things to make you know it's like it's it's like you don't know which direction to go because you don't know where to start because you usually don't use you usually don't really go there but take the first take the just just take the leap take the leap let go of your ego the way i tell people to let go of your ego is to think everything with love 
okay the ego thinks about self and how it's convenient only for them and no one else when you think of it from love at a love perspective you are looking at it from how this how how what you're doing is affecting the other person okay and how even how that other person is affecting themselves right with whatever it is that they're doing so think of it like that but your ego right now you being in it is not helping your love connection at all okay <clears throat> and I'm not defending the other person, but I'm just saying it takes two to tango. I don't know what that other person is going through, but I know whatever they're doing is not is not okay either. Okay. What's the advice here for Leo? Okay. All right, guys. They want me to do the same thing for you, like I did for um. What's the advice for Leo? What's the advice? I did this for cancer too. It's like they want me to pull two of these and two tarot. All right. So for the advice you have is patience. Have patience. All right. Have patience. Things are going to work at the way they're supposed to, not when you want them to. Okay. Then you have energy activation. Connect to the... Yeah, I got that. I wanted to tell you guys to meditate earlier, but I don't really like telling people that because not everybody meditates. Okay. But they want you to connect to them, whether that's praying, right? You pray to them. Ask them how you can move forward. Ask them how you can um come out of this ego center talk to them they are absolutely there to help you and to guide you in any way that you need all right you have the death card and you also have the, <clears throat> the emperor a lot the death your ego ego death they want you to cut that ego out try start trying your hardest to do that because that is how you're going to be successful. We are all supposed to be moving out of our ego. That is the, that is the like, the, <laughs> the finish line is you releasing your ego. Okay. Put an end to that death card. The emperor, take charge. You could be dealing with an Aries as well, but you don't have to be. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your situation. Don't be like, oh, well, you know, depending on how they move is how I'm going to move. No, you put your foot down. You say what you want. You speak up. I know, Leo, that when you guys are in love or with people who you really care about, it's like you tend to like be very like, you know, small compared to who you really are. A lion. So I'm gonna need you to be a lion, Leo, and take charge of the situation. One, put a put an end to your ego. Wait patiently for what you for things to go back into alignment and pray to your angels for for strength and guidance to move forward. All right. And also ask them how you can release your pride and your ego, because for every one of you, it might be a little different, but I think it's going to stem from the same place. All right. Well, that's all that I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped and brought some clarity into your situation. And yeah. I hope you have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.